Guys, I'm back again, right back here in Lexington, Mississippi, and welcome to another segment of On the Road with the SVRA. Boy, I've been recapping you and catching you up on all the 2021 Southeastern Professional Finals Rodeo action. We recap all the action from Brunswick, Georgia with Danny Hedrick and Hedrick Pro Rodeo. We went with Hendrick Rodeo over to Tennille, Georgia. Now we're going to kind of shift gears just a little bit, and we are going to go with your reigning stock contractor of the year, Frontier Classic Rodeo. That's Mr. Greg and his daughter, Ms. Emery Norrid, over to Heflin, Alabama, for your Cleveland County Chamber of Commerce Rodeo. Now, this is the second year I've had the opportunity to be the voice of that rodeo, and what a great committee. Uh, to work with. Let me just tell you, uh, Mr. Greg Norrid does a great job putting on these rodeos. He goes to no, spares no expense on bringing great entertainment. He recruited the Rock and Cajun from down around Livingston, Louisiana. Mr. Delman Henderson was there working with me and talk about funny. Dude, if you ever get a chance to see Delman Henderson, you don't want to miss it. Uh, we kicked it off with the bareback riding, and boy, we had a treat in the bareback riding. Your reigning SPRA champion, the Piedmont South Carolina Cowboy, Mr. Kenneth Glick, cinches up and takes home third place with a 74-point ride. The old veteran, Mr. Matt Smith, Sarah Land, Alabama. Guys, he is your 2020 SPFR average champion, 80 one points takes him to the pay window to pick up a second place check. When I tell you it was an all-star cast in the bareback riding, the number one cowboy. This cowboy is a seven-time SPRA world champion. He hadn't been to a rodeo in, I, I'm going to say, I know he wasn't there last year, maybe two years. Uh, Trey Moore, dude, he is as on point right now as the day he quit riding bareback horses. He comes back and talk about luck of the draw. This dude draws the uh, Curious George, the, the horse branded 700, the SPRA horse of the year, stomps him down there. 85 picture-perfect points to captivate the win in the bareback riding. Congratulations, Trey Moore, and happy unretirement. <laughs> that took us to the classic event, our saddle bronc. Guys, the Bluegrass State Bronc Stomper, Mr. Rudy Troyer. This kid is on fire. He had a good year last year. Uh, he made his way to the SBRA Rough Stock School and just showed out there. Uh, he came over to Heflin, Alabama, 71 points, got him the win in Heflin, Alabama. Congratulations to you, Rudy. Our pickup men, Mr. Mitch Splone and Fireball Hester and Brian Young, they worked overtime last week, I promise you. Uh, on to the calf roping. The, once again, I keep saying it over and over and over, 18-time world champion, Waycross, Georgia. That's where he hails from. Justin Thigpen was 11 and 8 to take home that third place check. And then in second place with matching 10.0s, we go to our elder statesmen, Mr. Glenn Frills and Mr. Sam Merritt. Guys, these guys have been doing it for a long time and they know how to do it and they know how to do it good. Congratulations to you, Glenn and Sam, for the second place check there in Heflin, Alabama. Last out, 9.8 ties up the win for Hadley DeShazo in the calf roping. On to the pretty cowgirls and the breakaway roping. Miss Crystal Peavy from down in L.A., lower Alabama's Baymanette. Uh, she comes in there, gets a rope around the neck, breaks it away in 3.6 to take her to the pay window. Then, one of the youngest cowgirls in the bunch. Now, I see this cowgirl everywhere I go. I see her all across the country. She is a multiple-time SPFR qualifier. Uh, she and the sorrel horse she calls Scoot even had a little bobble. They still managed to get a 3.1. I'm talking about Maley Wade uh, to get the second-place win there in the breakaway. 
and then the youngest girl on the circuit. Laverne, Alabama's own is Zoe Carpenter. Three flat. I'm talking about three flat and smoking there on Saturday night to topple over everybody and take home the win in the breakaway. On to the big man's event, our reigning rookie of the year, Mr. Colton Ferguson, Robertsdale, Alabama. He came into this rodeo sitting number one in the standings this year. He uh, had a great rodeo in Odenville earlier this year. He comes back here, uh, had a little bobble, but he still snuck in there to the pay window with 5.4 seconds. Uh, then we go to Lane Moore. Lane Moore comes out there, absolutely picture perfect. Uh, that dude slams one down in 4.3. And then back up to Mr. Matt Obrey, LaGrange, Georgia. I talked about him in the last segment. He shows up in Heflin. He shows out 3.8 to the season steer jumper and the win. Uh, on to our team roping. Boy, I'm going to tell you, 5.3 seconds won the whole team roping. Two teams split it identical. We say congratulations to Cast and Phoebe and Shane Edmondson, along with Joey Denny and Colton Allen for taking all the first place check there, splitting that in the team roping in Heflin, Alabama. Pretty cowgirls, lightning fast American quarter horses, that's where we're at. Guys, it paid out a lot of holes because there's a lot of cowgirls and a lot of talent in this, in this event. This talent right here, she is... A former world champion. She is your reigning world champion. She is riding the barrel horse of the year they call amazing. I'm talking about Angela Hudson from Utah, Alabama. 14-142 sneaks her there into the money in the barrel racing. Then we go to our brand new barrel racing director from uh, Baker, Florida. Miss Brittany Day and Yellowfella laid out a smoke in 14088 to get that third place win. Then we're, we're talking about former world champions. We put another one on the board. I'm talking about the cowgirl from over there in the Peach State of Georgia, Miss Sherry Wilkins from the Cowboy Shop, 14086 for the second place check there. And then it's an all star cast in the barrel racing as well. She was your 2019. Average champion. Uh, she has a horse called Mav that is just absolutely amazing as well. I mean, what can I say about him? Miss Lauren Pringle and her teammate Mav come in there 13 940 to captivate the win in the barrel racing. Then we go to our bucking bovines, our bull riding dude, Cole Ivy and Buddy Bush team up like peanut butter and jelly. Those guys work together so good. Uh, two of the best cowboy protectors that I, you know I get to work with year after year and day after day, rodeo after rodeo. Uh, look forward to working with them, and they do a great job uh, in the bull riding. You know, I say this when this cowboy gets in the chute. I say that I'll take experience over youth any day of the week. And then Mr. Pete New has been there and done that. He's got more than the T-shirts. He's got the gold buckles to prove it. He won Odenville earlier this year. He comes back in Heflin, answers with a 76-point ride to get him to the pay window right there. That cat is still on fire, and he can still do it. Then we go to the cowboy that actually pulled double duty. I told you he was, he was an outstanding bullfighter. Well, I'll tell you. Cole Ivey also rode the hair off of one for 80 points to go to the third place pay window and pick him up a check there in Heflin on top of that bullfighting check. Then Tyler Goosby, 81 points. Guys, 2020 high school graduate from Sardis City, Alabama. This young kid has a ton of talent. You don't want to forget that name, Tyler Goosby. Winning it all. Talk about young kids with a lot of talent. Now, I've seen this young kid come up through the ranks. I've seen him develop and hone his skills. They just keep getting better and better and better. He hails from Munster, Alabama. This young man, Casey Roberts, put the steel in the beef, 86 championship points to get the win in the bull riding in Heflin, Alabama, 
at your 2021 Cleveland County Chamber of Commerce Rodeo. It was a great rodeo. Guys, we were entertained from Delman Henderson to the fabulous Miss Dusty Crane Dickerson. Dude, Roman riding extraordinaire. Trick riding sensation. She had her protege that is an actual trick riding prodigy. I'm talking about the entertaining little fool, Miss Jada Cook. She is so much fun and so talented. If you have a chance to see Dusty Crane Dickerson anywhere, you don't want to miss that. I've had an opportunity to work with her twice this year, and it has been a pleasure both times. Guys, I'm Mac Ginn, and I live in Lexington, Mississippi. I am so proud to be back on the road with the SBRA. Thank you for joining me, and I'll catch you on the road with the SBRA. Come see me.